Effortless. I think Italian style is, is effortless and it's, and it's timeless. My name is Mary Louise Shaw. I am the creative director and CEO of Pelicano Hotel Group, which is Pelicano in Tuscany, La Posta Vecchia, which is where we're now, and Mezzatorre, and also our digital extension, which is called Isimo. Simplicity, as we know, is always the hardest thing to obtain. But I think you can always reach that simplicity if you do things with, with real passion and real intent. Like I think any good design, if it's furniture, if it's fashion, if it's good quality, it, it lasts. It lasts as a design piece. I grew up in Rome with an American mother who's an artist and my Italian father's. I think I got, most definitely got my business sense from my father. And I think I got my ex extending myself into my work from my mother because she is very expressive and she is very, she is very free. My mom is not a businesswoman, she's a painter, but she's most definitely a very aesthetic person um, and she loves beauty and culture. So it was more when we went to New York and we went back to the States that I'd see all the more contemporary things. And then she would drag me to every single museum in Rome as well my father wouldn't bring me to because for him it's, you know, like many Romans, we're so used to it. I grew up in Rome in these incredible palazzi where, you know, the spaces are, are different in terms of volumes, but it's usually the same kind of architecture. And then I grew up mainly also here, which is a 1614 villa built on Roman ruins. So obviously my background is very classical. I studied architecture at university and, and how they taught us how to question everything. I was starting to study architects like Louis Kahn or Frank Gehry or you name it, all the modern architecture, which I didn't really know anything about. And it was really interesting because, you know, then you, you see the evolution of design. I, I, I started to see, you know, get interested in the history of architecture and get interested in how do we go from a Bernini classical building to Frank Gehry and everything that happened in between. The spaces we live in are a reflection of ourselves. The Pelicano, the hotels, are a complete extension of my personality. And from the books, the films, the flat, all of it. It's an extension of my taste, my way of thinking, and who I am. I poured my heart and soul out into them in a very free way. And then, you know, obviously there's the business part. So I managed to, to make the two aspects coincide. Art moves me, it makes me calm, it makes me still, it makes me agitated, it makes me a combustion of opposites of things. And it depends on the power with which it's communicated. And I love joyful art, I love contemplative art, I love painful art. Um, experimental art. I think we're, we're made of so many different, we have so many different parts in ourselves that it depends what it goes and hooks itself on, the emotion that is expressed from the artist.